What's going on everybody? This is Super Robot and today we're going to talk about uh, some pictures we have with the Studio Series Gamer Edition WFC Voyager Optimus Prime in hand images. Thanks to the Facebook page of MM Toy Posse, we now have a handful of in hand pics for the new Studio Series Gamer Edition WFC Voyager Optimus Prime figure. Uh, shown here in the package, uh, we are looking at the robot move, the truck move. We're also looking at the size comparisons. And there are comparisons to the original, which was the first War for Cybertron series, which came out before the Fall of the Cybertron series, Optimus Prime. These, uh, actually, this one is definitely not the same as the original. Um, there are some differences as far as the widening. I think the body is wider. Um, a few things fold up, look like a little bit differently. Um, this one is very closer to the game model, in game model. So I think that this one is the better one, but you know, only the gripe I think people have with a fist hanging out. But let's take a pic, uh, peek at the picture here. Uh, so here he is with the robot mode and you will see how wide he is. But I do like that little gun Gatling weapon and he's got now the ax. And here's the uh, Cybertronian truck mode. Very nice, uh, it's got the red little ring around the wheels. I don't recall if the US version omitted that or not. Here's some comparisons with ER Earth Rise Optimus Prime. I mean, you know, they should probably be the same size. Um, here he is next to the Studio Series 38 Bumblebee Optimus Prime. Um, don't know why. I guess so. And then here he is again with the front facing with uh, Earth Rise Optimus Prime. Um, yeah, he looks pretty good from here. I, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Um, but here's what the glaring issue is. The fists are hanging out the back. Um, I don't think the original did that, um, but this one does. And then we're going to do a quick comparison with, again, Earthrise Optimus Prime in his robot mode. And I wanted to show this off just because I want to get to the next pictures, which are going to show off, you know, the comparisons here. So first things first, you'll notice that the chest is a lot bigger. The head, a little more uh, defined. Even the waist has patterns in it that the original didn't have the feet and legs and shins are bigger so this is probably voyager size the weapon is beefier the arms are beefier everything on this guy is beefier um even the kibble you know and we'll see from the back is really where you can tell that this figure is actually going to be uh in-game model uh version and you can see it on the left how they have the back folded up and the wheels are in the leg I like that they're more res recessed, whereas they just kind of hanged off on the first version. Um, the kibble is a bit different. Both have horrible kibble in the back, but it is what it is. So if you're looking to get this figure, here's your comparison. And of course, you can go to TFW 2005 and read the article as well. So yeah, it's a cool looking figure. I just don't have the patience and time to deal with anything else but what I'm looking for. Um, and as long as I get what I'm looking for, I don't care. However, I'm not going to just talk down about the figure. I mean, I like, I had the original War for Cybertron figure back in what, 2000, 2010, I think it was, 20, 2009, 10, 11, somewhere in that time frame. And I really was impressed with that figure. There was a lot that that figure did on its own, but I think they kind of retooled a few things. Now, will they have the same weight, same plastic density? I don't know because I don't have the original anymore i sold that years ago and i'm definitely not going to buy this but if you're going to buy this and like i say i'm not saying it's a bad figure it's just not in the cards for me now if you're looking to get this figure and you want to talk about anything else please leave your comments down below again my name is super robot ed we'll see you soon with more news and reviews until then we'll see you soon bye bye